Hey everyone, how's it going? Before we hop into today's video, I just want to give you a little bit of a preview. The Voyager Light bag will be given away in 14 subscribers. I haven't been pushing my videos as much lately. I've been kind of busy and I haven't necessarily loved the content. Uh, it, it's solid, you know, normal videos, but I haven't had the time to put in um, the extra work for these videos. Like right now I'm filming this and it's currently, it's Thursday night at like, it's like, 10 o'clock and I need to get this added and then do a voiceover and export the video and all that good stuff for you guys. But yeah, so we're playing Lakin in this video. The T pads are horrible, but the holes are actually great. It's a hidden gem in central Illinois. Uh, Saturday, I'll be headed down to play with Logan Bruner in a doubles tournament at a course that is just insane. I often will say Courses are super easy and you have to birdie every hole, but you guys will literally understand what that means uh, at that course. I I think the winner will probably shoot 39-40 or something like that. It's just like you can birdie everything. Uh, the, the chance of a 36 is actually very possible, but with there being mock threes out there and I'm not super familiar with the core. I mean, I don't think they've changed anything, but I haven't played in a few years, so... Who knows, we might shoot some uh, some really hot rounds. So 14 subs away, we're gonna check out Lake and Course in this video and be on the lookout for a doubles tournament next week. We're about a month away from traveling and playing disc golf, so that's something to look forward to as well. And not only that, the last thing is, George, Andre, and I um, started filming our podcast again. So we will be putting that i'll put a link in the description we're filming one of those and shoot or shooting one of those right after this so be on the lookout for that as well and george yes i said andre not andre for the first time ever so you're welcome without anything else guys sorry for the long intro let's hop in the video and check out lakin Here we are on hole one at the Lakin, this 436 feet uphill. We had a bit of a headwind. I, like a head cross to the right. I was just throwing a hyzer flip with my octane, getting a shot into play. Gave myself a long bid. So this course is about 20 miles northwest of Peoria, I want to say. It's a solid little course. I left this extra bit in here to show you how the tee pad goes up and down. It's really weird. But I'm throwing my matrix here. This hole is 350, slightly downhill. The basket's to the left of that flagpole there. You'll see. <laughs> There's me zooming on the tee pad. They also put the sponsor signs in the middle of the tee pad. I don't really get it. But nice shot with the matrix. I love when I can throw that. There's a little zoom and finger point as usual. I'm throwing a plasma fireball on this hole. It's 324 feet. I should have thrown the... Uh, Probably a matrix turnover, but I left myself with a long jump putt here. Give it a solid run. I'll take it. With a pretty, I guess not that long of a comeback, maybe like 20 feet. All right, so hole four is really fun here. It's just downhill 255. I'm glad I'm grabbing a plasma fireball, flicking it nice and high, just letting it fade in. I actually ended up catching a tree right by the basket, and I am absolutely parked. So you'll see out here quickly that these holes are actually pretty solid, just that the tee pads are weird. And here's a sketchy ice, um, half wet gravel covered tee pad. This hole is 356 feet. Grab my Tesla so I can't get a full run up, so I'm throwing it nice and smooth. Asking for it to get down. It checks up nicely. Somewhere in the edge of circle one, uh, 20 to 30 feet range. And I barely made it left some dramatic uh stuff there so here's our this was our live hole for league if you ace you get double the bounty it's an anheuser it says it's 189 feet i believe it's roughly something like that the, the shape going into the hole isn't that great but as you know i'm terrible at running aces so i just slid it up there and parked it 
No, he got a three. Here's seven. Oh, this one's actually tricky. It's 385. It's what it's listed. This one plays all of 450. And you go up a hill. It's like a blind turnover shot. There's people in a hammock to my left here. And there's also some cars up here. So it's just a very uncomfortable shot throwing uphill. I take my time. Just leave it short. Didn't really give it that good of a shot of a chance of going in. Is that Douglas or what? This no, one's pretty straightforward. 281. We had a nice tailwind, so I'm grabbing my beat up anode as I stand in front of the camera. Okay, at least I backed off. Nice shot up, up there close. There's a putt from Donald Nucky. And there's my tapping. Alright, so hole nine was 316, it says. I don't know, I'm thinking this hole's like more like 330. I tried to shock the first round. I wish I got my second round on video because I parked it with the Matrix, but either way, there's a nice yeah. nice round here. Left myself a little comebacker. But there's a good demonstration of uh, the course. So I ended up shooting a 22. It says eight down, but you know how that goes sometimes. It's you know five down technically. But that's a solid round out there. No problem with that. Hole nine used to be like 500 feet, and they had to shorten it because people kept throwing into the uh, the road and, and all that good stuff. Nobody loves that. But if you guys are in the area, check it out. It's worth the drive from Peoria. The only thing I have to say that are bad are the tee pads. Other than that, it's it's solid for sure. I haven't played there in a few years, so going back reminded me that it's kind of a little hidden gym out in the middle of... Uh, out of nowhere but guys i think that's all i have for you today thanks as always for watching guys and thanks to my sponsors mvp plastic addicts and paragon and here in just a second i threw in a couple of clips uh, i played blue meets normal league right after mine you'll see dwight powell here putting and my wife had a sick birdie today that i had to uh put in the video so there's a nice putt thanks for watching guys